All right, guys, welcome back. Really quick update. I had a bunch of requests for how I was putting the quick jack on the 911. So I'm going to show you where I have those positions and show you one other thing. So let's do it. So under here, you can see I have the two blocks stacked right pretty much underneath the torsion bar mount on uh, this pinch weld here. That rubber isn't really going to hurt anything. The other place I'm using in front is this pivot is going to be really close to the front wheel and the block we have just on the corner of the pan here just behind the pinch weld seems like this is a pretty strong place uh maybe people will argue with me about this i have no idea but it's been working for me in terms of the quick jack i did notice this i haven't even looked into it yet probably going to get to that right now but i'm guessing i need to tighten a fitting because it looks like we're leaking a little bit of atf here so i want to look into this leak really quick um, the other thing is I've only used this quick jack one time. I'm going to lower the car and try to move everything forward a little bit and then jack it up again because right now I have like, uh, I don't know, however, I have that much, uh, space right here and I'm looking for a little more space back here because when I'm parking the Civic in here right now, it's under the uh, bumper supports of the 911. So I'm going to try to film this going down and hopefully there won't be any expensive surprises. So honestly, this is kind of disappointing. Um, you guys saw me put this together, or maybe you didn't, but uh, when you put this together, you install these two fittings, right? And this fitting, this lower fitting, um, is what comes installed from the factory. So I'm gonna go ahead and tip this up, and you tell me where it looks like the leak is coming from. Oh, yeah, the one that I wasn't supposed to touch at all. So now I have to Google this and see if I can tighten this or if there's going to be some sort of issue with air. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what's inside here, so I'm going to have to Google it. It's kind of annoying. This thing is brand new, and it's already leaking out of this thing that uh, I haven't touched. So I'm going to Google that and see if I can tighten this thing. All right, so I spent a bunch of time Googling it. This is called the relief valve. I, I don't know of anyone having a leak here before. I'm just going to make sure that the fluid... Uh, it's still good in here and we're just going to use it anyway because I, I can't find any information on it. It's uh, significantly lower so we're going to go ahead and add some fluid. God damn it, it just blew ATF all over the ceiling. What the fuck? I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, that's pretty awesome. And that and ATF over all this shit. ATF all over the car. That's sweet. So I'm going to get a towel and put it over that relief valve right there and lower this thing on the ground and get it outside so I can wash it because I don't want ATF sitting on my paint. This is, what the shit? What the shit, Quick Jack? All right, uh, I just, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't and I lowered the car the rest of the way and it's just dumping fluid like crazy. <laughs> yeah, look at the ceiling. That's some impressive range. Yeah, it exploded and hit the ceiling. Anyway, it's all over the car, Jeez. and that's going to ruin the paint yeah. oh, more than it already is. Mm -hmm. You need, like I said, as many of these as you can okay. get. We need more, more than one. Do you see the size yeah, of this mess? I'm going to start. Listen. I'm getting the car out of here. You don't want to wipe it down? No, I want to get water on it. I 
So I think I just realized what happened. I checked the fluid when the quick jack was up. And it was really low because the fluid was pumped into everything. And when I lowered it, there was no room for the fluid because I filled it up when it was up. And I think, you know, I am a dumbass, but I think what confused me or what tripped me up here was the leaking coming out of that relief valve, which made me think, the fluid was missing, and obviously there was some missing because there was a puddle under it. Um, so that just made me think to add more fluid, and I should not have done that because then I think my ceiling would still be white and my garage would not be a total disaster. So I'm going to keep cleaning, uh, learn from my mistakes. I'm going to try, but uh, yeah, awesome. Cheers. Stay tuned.